The girl of my dreams is the sweetest girl of all the girls I know. A sweet co-ed like a rainbow's thread fades in the afterglow. The blue of her eyes and the gold of her hair are a blend of the western sky and the moonlight beams on the girl of my dreams. She's the sweetheart of Sigma Chi. I now, have heard that just the tail end of that, but I don't know. Have you, have you ever done from the tables down at Maury's to the place where Louis dwelt to the dear old temple bar we love so well? Seeing the whiffing poops assemble with their glasses raised on high and the magic of their singing casts a spell. Yes, we're poor little lambs who have lost our way. Ba, ba, ba. We're little black sheep who have grown astray. Ba, ba, ba. Gentlemen songsters off on a spree born from here to eternity. Lord have mercy on such as we. Ba, ba, ba. I think that's it's some college song. That's a whiffing poo song. Yeah. From, from Yale, isn't it? Yale, is that it? Okay. One of them. Yeah, we used to do that a lot. You know, in the years that I traveled so much, Dick, we had a number of people that loved to sing. But it takes one idiot like me to get up and start it. <laughs> and man, you got all kind of people to join you. I know, but you love to sing in it shows, yeah. Bill. Oh, I've done and people, it. People love that. I started 500 national meetings with that national anthem. And the only problem is when you have to sing it a cappella. Uh -huh. You get it started a little high, and you are <laughs> left alone, I'll assure you. But I've done it many times. And I've told the story here in Miami. I, Nancy Stafford was Miss Florida that year. She was my company, so we did all right. One of the senators did not show up, so the president came over to me and said, Bill, can you sing for 30 minutes? <laughs> well, I'll sure try. And it was St. Patrick's Day, and for 30 minutes, we sang Irish songs, and I think everybody enjoyed it a lot more than they would have enjoyed him reading his speech again, because <laughs> we'd all heard those many times. You got a lot of uh, interesting stories. I've, I've enjoyed my career. It was fabulous, and the couple we went to see kept a whole lot. That they are the ones that really uh, made my life wonderful. Because Dick was the first one that had me singing the national anthem at a convention, and then after that, you don't find me the idiots that get up in front of a thousand people and sing the national anthem a cappella. <laughs> I did it many times. Someone said singing in Acapulco. Yeah, singing <laughs> Acapulco. Right? And we had a federal highway man. He's the top employee of the federal highway. He loved to sing, and we, had, we did great together. We loved to sing together, and we loved to drink together. So it, it worked out. Both. In that order? Yes. <laughs> or depending on if we were in a bar, we were drinking and then singing, or singing and drinking. So it, no, you know, those years were fabulous. And I entertained many times. We had entertainment sometime, and I don't know what happened, but uh, some of them got outdone with our the audience, and we weren't ready to quit singing when they were, so... Uh, I'd get up and we'd sing for another hour, you know. It's, that was the life I had 40 years ago. <laughs> 25 years ago, I quit doing it. You know? <laughs>